everybody, this is Aaron with Ag Easel Solutions. Today we're getting ready to do an install on a John Deere 9330 four wheel drive tractor. This features a 13 and a half liter tier three John Deere PowerTech engine. Uh, we're gonna be installing our ejector driver module on this application. The part number on that is a HP 9030. Uh, with this module, you can expect to see up to 30% more horsepower as well as 10 to 20% fuel savings. Uh, before we start this install, we wanna make sure that the machine is powered down. Uh, we're also going to go over a couple of the key connection points. Uh, it's going to be very similar to our HP9020. Your injector connector is on the back of the head. That is a round connector that's threaded on. You'll be using that. Uh, also go to the map center. If you look at the AC compressor, it is going to be down and just to the right of that. That is a three pin. And then we will need a 10 millimeter socket and a 13 millimeter socket for the power on the ground. You can see here on the intake manifold, we'll be going for our ground. That's a good solid location. And then the power, you will see a power junction going to the starter right here next to the fuel tank. So those are going to be our key points of go to for the connection of this module. So stay tuned for step by step follow up. We're now going to start this install with our first connection point, the injector connector on the back of the head. As I said earlier, this is a rotating collar connector. So you want to turn that collar counterclockwise to loosen it up and release it. As you can see, it is indexed and only going one way. If you look at the pin orientation, there is eight pins. You want the same eight pins on our female connector to go in the same location where those came from. So we will go ahead and take our female connector from our harness and go straight to the head. As I said, that's indexed, so it only go in one way. Just be careful. Don't force it. You should thread on with ease just like that. Now we will take the female connector off the factory engine harness to go to our male connector. And as you can see, the male pins should coordinate with the female pins. And as you can see, once that lines up, it's only going to go in one day because there's one way because there's three index points on that. So that's threaded and locked in, and that will be good to go. We will now route this along a factory wiring loom and go to our map sensor. Now that we have the injector connector uh, plugged in series with the module, we are now going to go to the map sensor, which, as I said, is by the AC compressor. It's also seen in your instruction manual. This is a three pin Deutsch connector. And it's just got a tab and you want to release that and pull the connector apart as you can see that's what it looks like it looks like the same connectors on our harness so the female portion from our harness and go into the male connector make sure all connection points snap and lock properly we don't want these coming apart following the install and then we will take the male portion of our harness to go to the factory female connector. And just like that, they are locked and securely in place. Uh, we will now take the 10 millimeter socket and remove uh, this wire harness strap for a good ground location. We will now take our 10 millimeter socket and remove our ground bolt, as you can see on the intake manifold here, that's also in your install instructions. We'll loosen that up and remove it so we can connect the ground leads from our module to that. Make sure all power and ground locations are clean and secure as well. If there's any painted surfaces, it may cause uh, inconsistency with the power going to the module, so we don't want that to happen. On this, uh, you can see there's a little paint here. We're gonna have to clean that up before we put the ground strap there. It's got a little paint, we'll have to clean that up. But before we do that, we'll take the 13 millimeter 
and remove the nut or the power strap going to the starter. All right, we just finished routing our power and ground straps to the locations as listed in the instructions. Uh, just a bit of a tech tip during this process. You might see after years of uh, mud and wear and tear that this top relay where it says go to the power, if that's rusted, it may be safest to go to the one below that if it's cleaner. If not, clean those studs very well. Uh, we're going to go through here and get everything zip tied up. Uh, we fired the tractor up, make sure everything ran fine. Everything looks great. Be sure to keep this away from hot, any high heat or moving components. Here on a factory wiring loom would be a good location. I want to thank this customer for another great product. Uh, he's run several of our models before and had great results. Uh, always remember to check out our YouTube page for installation videos, customer testimonials. Also check us out at our website, agdieselsolutions.com, and also on social media on our Facebook and Instagram pages. Always remember to farm smart, farm efficient, farm with Ag Diesel Solutions models. Thank you guys, and have a great day.